everyone, Chester here. Hasn't it been great talking about the armor of God? What is the armor of God? It's the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, and let's not forget a lifestyle of praying always and for everyone. And today, our teacher is going to be teaching us about the breastplate of righteousness. But first, let's go over this week's saying. Our saying today is, Jesus is my redeemer. Let's say it to Gouda. Jesus is my redeemer. All good things come in cheese. Let's say it one last time. Jesus is my redeemer. Way to go. Now it's time for today's lesson. See you in a bit. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hope at Home for Kids. I'm the teacher. You're the kids. Unless you're one of the parents watching, then you're obviously not one of the kids. Anyways, moving on, we're talking about our series, The Armor of God. Today, we're going to be talking about a really specific one called the chest plate of righteousness. It's uh, it's like this big piece of metal kind of thingy that you wear on your chest, obviously. It's, it's a little hard to describe, so I think I'd rather show you. Oh. Perfect. Awesome. I actually borrowed this from my best friend, Maximus. He's a really swell guy. He just totally lent this to me. He's like, here, I'd give you the shirt off my back, kind of like that one Bible verse says. Anyways, we're talking about the breastplate of righteousness and how this thing's sometimes kind of heavy. And it's kind of cool because the heaviness of this, we can sometimes use a hand carrying this. And the funny thing is, our breastplate of righteousness doesn't come from any of our strengths, but it comes from all of Jesus' strength. Just kind of like how we see in this one story, one time Jesus is teaching. He's teaching a bunch of people in uh, kind of like an older church. And these people called the Pharisees, they bring in this woman that was caught in sin. Everyone say, uh-oh, let's see what happens. And so they bring in this woman caught in sin, and they're like, hey, she messed up. She did something really bad. We should, we should punish her, right? We should put her like her in the longest time out ever. And Jesus, he stays quiet. He stays quiet for a second. And like they're, they're like accusing him. They're like yelling, Jesus, what should we do? The law says that, that we should punish her and that she's, she's wrong and she's sinful. But the Bible also says that for everybody has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So how are we supposed to wear our chest plate? Well, Jesus does something amazing right here. He makes a perfect example. He tells everybody, who you go ahead and punish her. Put her in time out. But whoever hasn't sinned, whoever hasn't messed up, whoever's lived a perfect life, go ahead and let them be the one to put her in time out. And so everybody starts looking around. They're kind of nervous because they all know that they've messed up pretty bad themselves. And so everyone starts looking around. They don't know what to do. It's kind of like this, guys. Imagine if you and your brother or sister were playing outside and your, uh, your parent or your guardian let you go outside and play. And so uh, your brother, sister, they're playing with rocks. And your guardian said, don't play with rocks and don't dig any holes in my garden. But you, you're digging holes in the garden. And then your brother or sister, they're throwing rocks around like they're not supposed to. And then a window breaks. And so you stop digging in the garden, which your guardian told you not to do. And you run inside super fast so you can be a tattletail. And you're just like, uh, guardian, gar mom, dad, guardian, grandma, per person, uh, 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 t Tristan threw rocks in the window, and, and it broke. Oh, goodness. Why are your hands dirty? Uh, that's beside the point, guardian. <laughs> I, I didn't know. Um, and so now you're both caught in, uh, in sin, and sin something that we're not supposed to do. Sin's anything that will take us away from God. And so because your guardian told you not to do two things, and just because you did something wrong and they did something different, but you guys both did something wrong, wrong. Does that kind of make sense? How uh, because two people messed up in different ways doesn't make one way better than the other? It's kind of like that. And so Jesus says, anybody that is without sin, anybody that's perfect, go ahead and let them be the one to punish her. And so everyone looks around. They're kind of nervous. And so one by one, they start leaving. 
because they don't know what to do. They feel nervous. They feel scared. They feel uh, guilty because now they wanted to punish this girl, but they themselves never got punishment for what they did. So why is that fair? And so everybody leaves, and now it's just Jesus. He's not wearing a breastplate like this. He's wearing a regular tunic. And now it's just Jesus and the girl. And he looks at her. He says, where did everybody go? Nobody wants to punish you? And she's like, no, Jesus. And he says, neither do I. Now go and sin no more. Go and be good. Amen? That is so amazing because we've all messed up. We've all been stingy with our toys. We've all, uh, we've all been mine, mine, mine. We maybe fed the dog some food that we were supposed to eat because we don't like vegetables. I don't know. We've all done something a little wrong, right? And so Jesus says to each and every one of us today, me, everybody watching at home, everybody watching the rerun, everybody that's going to be watching on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, everybody that's watching this right now, Jesus wants to tell you personally, by name, None of them condemn, uh, none of them punished you, neither do I. But go and do better. Go and sin no more. Awesome. That's our lesson, guys. That's the lesson on the breastplate of righteousness. So remember, you guys are righteous because of what Jesus did, not by anything you can do. And because Jesus has made you righteous, you can go out into the world and do righteous things in the name of Christ. Amen. Jesus loves you. I love you. The whole church loves you guys. Can't wait to see you guys here Sunday morning in person so I can give you an actual high five instead of this like weird camera air high five that I always give at the end of every lesson. You guys are amazing. Uh, tune in next week and all the weeks after that. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. Wasn't that a beautiful lesson? Jesus knows that we make mistakes, but he loves us so much that he not only forgives us, but he wants to help us make good choices from now on because he wants us to walk in the Gouda, Gouda plans he has for us. Amen? Amen. Okay, so. Let's go over this week's memory verse. It's Matthew 6, 33a. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Could you say it with me? Ready? Matthew 6, 33a. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Good job, everyone. Well, Ricotta, go. See you later. Breathe.